In part 20 of our SharePoint um, intranet series, we're going to be looking at building our top navigation. So um, this would be this little section that you see there at the top. Now, of course, I could just uh, edit this here, but I do want to show you the long way around on how I do set up um, site navigation. So I could very easily just go here and start adding um, specific links and things. But I also want to show you where I normally add it. Um, in, in a, would, what I would call the old methods of um, adding these things. So I'm going to go to um, site information and then I'm going to go to view all site settings. And in view all site settings, you've got something called the quick launch. So this is just normally easier for me to plan it here than right on the page, but you can add it right there on the page as well. So something that's easy, uh, important for me, I think for us to add would be a drop down to the departmental sites or the pages that we've created, as well as the different document types, etc. So firstly, I'm going to just delete these, uh, these other links. So I could add a new navigation link or a new heading. So let's first do it the old way around and see how long that takes. So I would bring a new heading in. Now, to bring a heading in that doesn't have a link, the easiest would be is to just take the link to the site. And uh, I'm going to just call this departments. Then what I would do is to start creating a drop down for the departments below that. So there's departments. I can then go new navigation link and say, hey, I want to create a link to a specific site so um, or a specific page. So the first one that I want is uh, finances. So if I open the finances page, page, I'm going to just copy that link and I'm going to go back to my navigation and that will be the link for um, finances. And then I'm going to add another one. Of course, this must be under the departments link. So let's take a look. At, uh, at the home page and see how easy it is to add these links just straight from there. So you'll see that uh, the top navigation is going to start. Um, if I go to edit, if I just went and said new link and I'm going to copy that link uh, when I'm there, I can then say this is marketing. OK, so I'm going to say OK. And, uh, and there we go. Uh, marketing is then saved. So uh, going back, then you'll see this is actually quite easy to add it's definitely much easier so to just add it there something else I would add is um, another link here so again I'm going to just copy the main link to my site and I'm going to call this documents and I want to see how I can um, change documents move up not quite what I meant so that's changing the order so I'm going to go move down now I'm going to say that this must be, there we go, promote sub link, we'll move it in um, one level. So that means that if I go back to site contents and I go to my um, documents library, let's see which uh, view I'd like to add as one of those sub links. So remember I've created multiple views, some of them are only um, for specific departments, but under this section, I would definitely add things like policies only or procedures only. So if I go to department document type, I'm going to choose that link and then go back to uh, to my site and say, I want to create another link. Um, and this would be um, all documents, if that makes sense. Just see, oops, typo. All documents and then all documents would be a sublink. So make sublink. There we go. So documents and then all documents. And then of course I can have policies, procedures, etc. So this is how I would build out the top navigation. Definitely a lot better and easier to build it in the new way than it was in the old way for sure. And to move links up and down is easy. So move up and down, make a sublink, promote a sublink or remove. That's, uh, that's definitely a lot better. So I'll definitely not build it like that anymore. So there you can start building out um, your top navigation. So I would add things here, like things that are important to employees, like the employee self-service um, and things like that. I would have a list of departments. I would have a list of document types and type of categories. So um, I would definitely add a link to Delve as well, by the way, so that people can go and search for contacts and things. But there we go. That's the top navigation. And uh, just remember that the site templates that we're using, that's actually the old quick launch, which is my left navigation. So it's just displaying at the top because of the template. And there you go. I hope uh, I hope that just brings us a step closer to getting on our intranet ready for launch is uh, building out our top navigation. And uh, we'll chat soon.